I want to talk about the tick. Uh, the tick is a recent Amazon pilot that just came on over in the UK. I don't know how long it's been out in America. I'm assuming went on at the same time. It stars Peter Serafinowicz as the tick. Uh, I'm not sure who the actor is that plays Arthur, his sidekick. I remember the tick from the cartoon in the 90s. Uh, this isn't much like that. Um, it's darker, as everything now has to be darker. Um, the tick has got a weird costume that seems to look a little more, little more bug-like than the smooth version. I know there's been another live action version where the costume was pretty similar to the cartoon. Um, I appreciate that they're trying to ground this in a slightly more realistic world, albeit not wholly realistic. Um, but that means this costume's got to be a lot slimmer um, and you'll see that when you see the pilot. Um, the villains in it don't seem to be the same comedy villains that you've got in the TV series with with, with the cartoon. Um, you have people like um, Chairface Chippendale, I think his name was, whose head was a chair. I don't think you're going to see someone with a head that's a chair. Um, at the moment you've got a sort of super villain played by oh Jackie Earl Haley, the guy who was in the Friday the 13th remake. He's in it very briefly. Um, he's fine as a villain, he's pretty standard. Um, you also get the uh, another who's an Amazon actress who is the, I uh, can't think of her name, but she's like a sort of Latin American woman who was on the series um, Beta House, uh, or Alpha House, what was it? I can't remember because it was, um, <laughs> you know, the trouble is these Amazon series, they aren't quite up to the standard of Netflix stuff, so. You know, they tend to go in one ear and out the other ear, but she's somebody who seems to be doing the rounds on Amazon, whether or not they've got to deal with the production company, I don't know. But, yeah, the tick is it's fine, it's a half hour of TV, the tick actually has powers in it, and he does big jumps, and he's got super strength, and he's impervious to bullets, um, and he's an idiot. Um, the thing that really sort of pissed me off about it was Arthur, his sidekick, it's all done from his point of view, which is fine. But his costume is meant to look like a very poor quality moth. And there's a constant joke throughout all of the TV series that he looks like a little bunny rabbit because of the, the ears on the moth, or the antenna, look like little bunny ears. Um, and his costume's white, like a little rabbit. Whereas in this, <laughs> It looks too technical and it looks too too high quality and it looks like it's actually a moth outfit. Um, so you're never going to get those jokes that he should be a little bunny that sort of put him in his place all the time. Just The whole point is just when Arthur thinks that he's becoming a hero or becoming a good sidekick, you know, someone then just totally takes the um, rug out from under his feet by referring to him as being a bunny and he has to then explain that he's not a bunny, it's a moth outfit and so on and so forth and it sort of breaks his, um, breaks his confidence every time. That's not going to happen um, with the costumes they've got in this. Um, I'm sure it'll get picked up for a series just because there's a lot of love out there for the tick. Um, Peter Serafina, which is fine as the tick, uh, Ultimately, I think he's a car he's a character that can only really exist in a cartoon format. I don't think he's a live action character, but you know, I'll watch the series if it comes out. Of course, I will. Um, and you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not as good as the cartoon. I'd rather have had another season of the cartoon, to be honest, um, where they can get away with doing absolutely silly stuff, taking the mick out of superheroes in general, and not having to worry about there being actors, special effects, and all that kind of stuff that people will in inevitably criticise throughout the series, and that will ultimately be its downfall because of costs. Um, but yeah, check out the tick on the Amazon Pilots. If you like it, vote it up, and um, they'll probably make a series of it. And if not, just, just leave it. Trust me, it's better than the John claude Van Damme series that they tried to push on here at the same time. That's crap. Um, so, check it out. <laughs>